Dear 7th semester EC stream students, I welcome you all into my channel. Hope you are all doing well and hope you are preparing for your upcoming examinations. So today I am with your passing package of first subject advanced VLSI. So due to some health issues, I was not able to upload the passing package for you students. Now uh, today I have managed it somehow to upload this one right so subject code is 21 ec 71 let me discuss model wise important questions right so first of all in the model first we are having some super important questions like uh, define asic differentiate between full custom semi custom and programmable programmable asics with examples explain the asic design flow with a detailed block diagram Compare full custom design and semi custom design in terms of design complexity, cost, and flexibility. Discuss the characteristics and design steps of CMOS logic circuits using in ASICs. So, explain the working of a basic CMOS inverter and derive its noise margins. So, what are data path elements in VLSI design? Explain their role in digital circuits. Next, two are having described the structure and working of carry skip adder and carry select adder and carry save adder. Last two questions we are having from the model first. Explain the concept of booth encoding used in multipliers with an example. What are input and output cells? Discuss their design considerations in ASICs, right? So these are all important questions from your model first. Next, we have model second. What are the goals and objectives of floor planning in VLSI design? Explain the process of delay measurement in floor planning and discuss the significance of input, output and power planning in floor planning. What is clock planning? Why is it critical in floor planning? So state the goals and objectives of placement in physical design flow. Sixth question we are having described the time driven placement methods and their important importance in VLSI design. What are the goals and objectives of routing in VLSI design? Last three questions from the model second are here. Discuss the methods used for global routing uh, with their advantages and limitations. What is back annotation in routing? Why is it important in the physical design process? And last question, compare global routing and detailed routing in terms of objectives and techniques. Let's come to the model third where we have what are the main steps involved in the verification process in VLSI design what is directed testing and how is it different from constant random testing what is functional coverage why is it important in verification process and describe the components of a layered test bench write short notes on transaction based verification coverage driven verification and list and explain the built in data types in system very log Compare fixed arrays and dynamic arrays in system Verilog and provide examples. What are queues in system Verilog? Explain their operations with examples. Explain linked lists and their application in verification test benches. Explain how user defined structures are created in system Verilog with examples. Last question write short notes on constants and strings in system Verilog expression width in system Verilog. Right. So, next one we have model fourth here. What are uh, procedural statements in system very log provide examples differentiate between tasks and functions in system very log explain the significance of a void functions in system very log with an example write short notes on overview of tasks and functions advantage of using void functions what are routine arguments and how are they passed in tasks and functions sixth one we have what are the time values in system very log routines and how are they used in procedural statements why is it important to separate the test bench from the design? Explain with an example. And uh, last three questions. What is the interface construct in system very log? How does it simplify test bench connections? How is interface driving and sampling performed in the system very log? Provide an example. And what are system very log assertions? Discuss their role in functional verification. These are all important questions from your module fourth. Now coming to the last module fifth. Define randomization in the context of system very log. Why is it essential in verification? What are random number functions in system very log? Provide examples of common functions. Explain the concept of a random number generators and their role in constant random verification. Describe common randomization problems faced during verification and suggest solutions. And also write down the short notes on constraints in randomization, verifying randomization results. So sixth one we have what is the functional coverage and how does it differ from code coverage? 
list and explain the different types of coverage in system memory log and write a simple coverage explain in system memory log and explain its components explain the concept of cross coverage with an example last two questions discuss the various coverage options available in system memory log and how our coverage statistics measure during simulation so these are all super important questions from your first subject advanced vlsi so if somebody wants to pass only they have to go through three models fully taking some portions of other two models okay if somebody wants to score they have to definitely go through all these super important questions so they can score good in the subject so i wish you all the best for your examinations my dear friends so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you